So I made a video a little while ago about how you can easily move your camera around your stream by using some filters and a really awesome plugin called Move Transition. So when I did that video, OBS was still on version 27, but since then version 28 and version 29 have come out. They are pretty significant differences in terms of the actual interfaces themselves. And a lot of people mentioned that they were having issues getting this to work. So I thought I would go ahead and redo it in version 29, version 28, um, and show you guys how to get this done. So first things first, make sure that you have OBS and also make sure that you go ahead and install the move transition uh, plugin. You can go ahead and go to this link. I will leave it down in the description below. You just go ahead, go to download. You choose whatever platform you're on. I'm on Windows. You go through the very brief installation process. It'll go ahead and add that. If you have OBS open, you're going to want to close it and reopen it. And once you do, we can go ahead and start this process. So the nice thing about move transition is that you can use it in a wide variety of ways. I currently use it to move my camera around my stream in predetermined locations, either the top left, the top right, the bottom left or the bottom right. Now, the really nice thing is that you could do this either with the sources themselves or with groups. So I do it on my stream as a group because I have my camera, my border, um, and all of the little browser source stuff underneath that all as a group, but you can just do it as a source and I'll show you how to do it with just a source now and then how to do it with a group as well. So we're going to go ahead and do this for just a source right now. So you're going to put the filter on the scene and not the actual source. So we're going to go ahead and right click here, filters, we're going to add and we're going to go to move source. And let's call this one top left. So we can go ahead and we want this image to be in the top left. So let's move it up top there. And we want our source is going to be image. So that's what we want because that's the name of my source. And you can set a delay if you want to. You can set a duration if you want to. You can set the easing. I like easing in and out, which is nice. And then we're going to do git transform. So now it's pulling that current location. If I move it over to this side and I do git transform, it's going to grab that. So we're going to have it up here get transform, have a nice curve to it. Um, and that should be good. Let's go ahead and create another one. We're going to call this one top right. And now I'm going to move this over here, get transform, good to go. So now if I go to scenes and I go to filters and I have these here, if I go ahead and enable these, it's going to move my image back and forth right super easy to do and it looks great it makes things really easy and what i do is i actually have these filter effects on my stream deck and i can open up a folder click on them and it'll go ahead and move them around so i don't have to go ahead and open it like this but this is the option that you're going to have to use unless you want to go ahead and add hotkeys to these. So say you went ahead and added a border to your webcam and you want to move them both at the same time or any other assets around at the same time as a group. We're going to go ahead and group these together. So you control click both of these so that they're both selected, right click, and we're going to go to group selected items. We'll call this cam. So now once you get those grouped, you're going to go ahead and go to your filters. Unfortunately, the plugin tends to encounter a bug if you already have something set up. So I'm gonna have to go ahead and remove this to top left, go ahead and do my get transform, move it over to the right, do get transform, and now it'll work. But for some reason, it kind of messes all that up. If you have the filters already added for something else, and then you go ahead and add something new, but this is how it works. If you ever do get into a situation where for some reason, you go ahead and enable it and it's not working, open up your filters, double check that the transform is working, do a new get transform and you should be good to go. But I can show you here how it works with my stream deck. If I go ahead and click on my folder and now I click on my buttons, I can move myself around super, super easily. And I use this during stream all the time. If there's a UI element on a game that I'm playing that's being blocked by my webcam, it's super easy to go ahead and move myself around. 
you can create hotkeys for these. You can use a bunch of different tools. Um, obviously using the stream deck is going to be the easiest way to do that. Um, and I find my stream deck to be invaluable. So if you want to see how I have it set up on my stream deck, um, I created a folder called camera. If I open that up, you can see that I have all of the different locations, bottom right, top right, bottom left, top left. If I click on that, it's going ahead and enabling a filter. So what you can do is you can go ahead and grab the filter and you drag that on here. You go ahead and you grab your source and then you grab your filter. So I don't have the filter on the current source that I'm using to record this voiceover, but you would go ahead and grab your source and make sure that you have the filter. So this is how it's gonna look like when you're on the right scene and you have your filter set up. So as you can see on the left-hand side of the screen here, um, I have my filter set as position one, two, three, and four. And on your uh, stream deck, you will end up choosing the right source, which would be your scene and not the source itself. And then you'll see the names of all your filters. You wanna go ahead and choose the filter for that position, name it correctly and have it set up. And this just makes moving it super easy if you do have a stream deck. Now, also one of the nice things about V28 and 29 versus V27 is that you can properly add hotkeys to filters to enable them. Um, so for example, we can go ahead and we can go into our settings. We can go to hotkeys, scroll down until you go to your scene and you'll see my two filter names here. We're gonna do this one as Control Alt Q and we'll do this one as Control Alt W. Um, you can set it to whatever you want. We're going to press OK, and now if I do them, you'll see that I can go ahead and move my thing around. So it makes this very, very easy to do. Um, before, you weren't really able to do this without using third-party tools to do hotkeys. So this makes life incredibly easy for people who don't have a stream deck. So I hope this video helped you out and got you set up if you were having issues with my original video. I apologize if that original video was causing you some issues, it just was on a previous version and some things did change with the plugin on the newer versions. But if this video did help you out, I'd really appreciate it if you like subscribed. If you have any questions, comments or feedback, feel free to leave those down in the comment section below and I will try to get to them all as quickly as I can. As always, big thanks to my patron sponsors, Thoughts Lime and Step Back, and thank you for watching the end of this video. If you do want to check out any of my other streaming how-to videos, you can go ahead and check out the playlist right up here. And as always, stay safe out there. I'll see you next Saturday.